Donald Hoffman, a cognitive neuroscientist, challenges everything you think you know about reality. His groundbreaking insights offer a bold reimagining of existence itself. Consider his statement, neurons do not exist when they're not perceived because nothing inside space-time exists when it's not perceived. Space-time itself does not exist when it's not perceived. It is only a data structure that exists when you create it in your consciousness. This isn't just a provocative claim, it's a gateway into a deeper understanding of the nature of reality. From the moment you open your eyes, it feels natural to trust what you see, hear, and feel. The physical world seems fixed, objective, and independent of your perception. Yet Hoffman asserts that everything you experience, from the chair beneath you to the stars in the night sky, is a construction of your consciousness. Space-time itself, the very fabric of what you consider real, is nothing more than a headset, a virtual interface designed by evolution to help you survive, not to reveal the truth. This shift in perspective is staggering. You're not a small, insignificant entity navigating a vast universe. Instead, the universe as you perceive it arises within you, shaped moment by moment as needed. It's not merely a change in thought, it's a revolution in how you define existence. To understand the depth of Hoffman's argument, reflect on the purpose of perception. Your sensory experiences don't offer an accurate reconstruction of the world, but instead serve as a pragmatic interface. Evolution, as Hoffman explains, didn't equip you with senses to uncover objective reality. Instead, it optimized perception to ensure survival and reproductive success. Consider the example of evolutionary game theory, which reveals that creatures don't need to perceive the truth to thrive. Instead, they are equipped with tools that help them navigate their environment efficiently. A frog doesn't see every detail of a fly's anatomy. It merely perceives movement as a signal to strike. Similarly, Human perception isn't designed to reveal the intricate structures of reality. It's a simplified interface that prioritizes efficiency over accuracy. The vivid colors you see, the solidity of objects you touch, and the spatial dimensions you navigate are all abstractions crafted by evolution to guide behavior rather than unveil truth. Hoffman compares this to a computer desktop. The icons on your screen represent complex files and processes, yet they conceal the underlying code. You interact with the icons because they're useful, not because they're accurate representations of what's happening inside the computer. In the same way, your perception provides an intuitive, user-friendly interface to reality, while hiding the deeper mechanics at work. What you see is not the world as it is, but a version of it that helps you survive and succeed. This understanding reshapes your relationship with the world. If perception is merely a tool, it means the physical reality you trust so deeply is a construction, a lens shaped by consciousness. The chair you sit on, the air you breathe, even the passage of time itself, are part of this interface, created on demand by your awareness. The implications are profound. By questioning the truth of perception, you open the door to exploring the intelligence and structure underlying the very fabric of existence. Hoffman's work turns conventional thinking on its head, presenting consciousness not as a byproduct of the brain, but as the very foundation of existence. In this view, the brain, body, and even the physical world are not origins of consciousness, but manifestations of it. What you perceive as reality, your body, your surroundings, and even the flow of time, emerges from consciousness as a dynamic creation, constructed moment by moment. This perspective shifts the narrative of existence, placing consciousness at the center of all experience and creation. Think of consciousness as a boundless canvas, with the physical world as a temporary image projected upon it. Neurons, synapses, and the structures of the brain that science often regards as the source of thought are merely icons within this interface. They exist when observed and dissolve when not, 
revealing their contingent and non-fundamental nature. Hoffman argues that consciousness doesn't arise from neural activity. Rather, neural activity is a representation created within consciousness. This reversal not only challenges materialist assumptions, but also reframes the way we understand the relationship between mind and matter. Viewing consciousness as primary also empowers you to reconsider your role in shaping reality. The world isn't something passively observed, it's actively constructed through your awareness. By interacting with this deeper intelligence, you participate in the unfolding of existence itself. This perspective invites a profound sense of agency and connection, suggesting that the boundaries of your mind extend far beyond what you've been taught to believe. You are both the observer and the creator, engaging with a reality that is as much within you as it is around you. Building on the foundation of consciousness as primary, Hoffman challenges the long-held notion of space-time as the ultimate framework of reality. What appears to be a solid, continuous expanse of three spatial dimensions and one of time is, in his words, a shallow data structure. It serves as a functional headset, a user-friendly interface that allows conscious agents to interact. This view radically redefines space-time, suggesting it's not the bedrock of existence, but a tool designed for simplicity and efficiency. Just as your computer desktop doesn't reveal the complexities of its underlying code, space-time hides the deeper intelligence at play. Scientific discoveries support this paradigm shift. Hoffman points to cutting-edge physics, where researchers explore structures beyond space-time, such as positive geometries and decorated permutations. These mathematical constructs exist independently of the familiar dimensions, yet they yield precise predictions about physical phenomena. In this framework, space-time is revealed as an abstraction, one of many possible interfaces through which conscious agents interact. It is not the final frontier, but a veil, concealing an intricate network of relationships that underlie the reality you perceive. At the core of this perspective is the concept of conscious agents. These are fundamental units of reality, entities defined not by physical attributes, but by their experiences and interactions. Conscious agents exist beyond the constraints of space-time, operating in a vast, interconnected network. Hoffman envisions this network as a dynamic interplay of probabilities and relationships, akin to a social network where each node represents a unique perspective. These agents collaborate and exchange information, collectively creating the tapestry of existence. The implications are profound. Your perception of the physical world, from the solidity of objects to the flow of time, is a representation crafted by conscious agents. Even your sense of individuality, your identity, your thoughts and your emotions is an interface, a localized view within this greater network. In this model, you are not separate from others, but deeply connected, a thread in the infinite web of consciousness. This interconnectedness points to a deeper intelligence beneath reality, one that transcends the limitations of space-time. By viewing space-time and matter as emergent properties of a network of consciousness, you can begin to grasp the vast potential of existence. Reality is no longer constrained by the rules of the physical world, but is instead an infinite field of possibilities. Through this lens, you are both an individual conscious agent and a participant in a grand, collective exploration of self-awareness. It's a shift that invites you to see the universe not as a static structure, but as a living, evolving expression of consciousness itself. In conclusion, what is consciousness doing? Why does it exist? Hoffman proposes a radical and transformative answer. Consciousness is not just fundamental, it is in an endless act of self-discovery. Imagine consciousness as an infinite intelligence, exploring itself through countless perspectives. Each life, each experience, and each interaction is a new lens through which it observes its own boundless potential. 
Your existence is not random. It is consciousness itself, choosing to experience reality through your unique vantage point, forgetting its vastness temporarily to fully immerse in the story of you. Hoffman's perspective reshapes the human journey. Life, as he describes it, is not a struggle for survival or an accident of biology. It is a deliberate act of exploration. By inhabiting what feels like a small, finite body within the constraints of space and time, consciousness experiences itself in ways it never could from a position of totality. The struggles, joys, fears and triumphs that define your existence are not meaningless. They are pieces of an intricate puzzle, fragments of a larger narrative that consciousness is weaving about itself. Even death, in this view, is not an end but the moment of removing the headset, allowing the universal consciousness to reflect on the journey it just lived through your eyes. The implications of this are staggering. You are not a passive observer of reality, but an active participant in the grandest act of creation. The life you live, with all its complexity, is a deliberate expression of consciousness seeking to know itself through you. This means that your story your joys and heartbreaks, your fears and triumphs, is not trivial. It is consciousness realizing itself, moment by moment, in a form that is utterly unique. As Hoffman reveals, the universe you perceive isn't out there. It's within you, created by you. Understanding this is not just knowledge. It's an awakening, a profound reminder that you are, and have always been, far more than you thought.